Hi Pisces and welcome to a reading by the Blessing Foundry. This reading is going to be a little bit different. It's going to um, focus on th those in the Pisces Collective that are going through emotional trauma or pain. Keep in mind, I'm in no way qualified to give any medical advice or counseling. I'm just going to go off energy and read what the cards say, but um, I today especially I've been getting the message that you know there's a population of you guys out there in the Pisces collection that could really use some guidance and direction um, regarding um, spirit messages for healing. So we're gonna get going with this. Okay, so guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, five be light and above, please come here. Please show the Pisces collective information they need to know about their pain, the root causes of their pain, identify their suffering and ways to heal it. Please be very clear and concise and, and provide the guidance for the Pisces Collective. Here we go. One card for the overall blockage, pain, or suffering Pisces is feeling right now. What is the overall message or blockage Pisces is feeling right now? What is the difficulty or blockage Pisces is feeling right now? What do you want to tell the Pisces Collective about their pain right now, Spirit? What do you want to tell the Pisces Collective about the pain they're experiencing right now? Okay. And the, the first card we get is calling in the storm. So this is telling me that Pisces, you're, the difficulty you're having right now, you know, your ground may be shaken. Um, the rug might be pulled out from underneath you, but it's not there to cause you permanent suffering. It's for you to learn how to embrace and embody the storm and every storm has energy associated with it so part of this is for your growth and development and learning of how to how to not fear the storm but to become the storm you call it in because you are no longer afraid you are you are not weak but you have learned to become all right spirit one more oracle card from this deck so this is a, a dark deck Kind of, um, it has some of the same tarot messages as a normal tarot deck, but it's an oracle deck. We'll see. Guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, what message do you have for the Pisces collective who are in pain or suffering or in turmoil right now? What do you want them to know? And it's storming outside. It's thundering as well right now, which is quite fitting. It's kind of gray. And we get um, the Witch of Ages, Atonement, Growth, and Deceit. So as... as I had just mentioned here in calling in the storm, you know, we could be facing an atonement or, you know, somebody will face atonement for what they've done. Maybe they've deceived us. And, but this is not happening for us to get stuck in this place of pain. I, I just say us as whomever this is resonating with. And please do like, share, subscribe. Or let me know, please, if it resonates. Um, you know, we're not stuck in the storm, but we're called to go through the storm. We are call we call in the storm. We're not afraid of it, and it's for our own growth and development. Okay, Spirit, what message do you have for the Pisces Collective for in this pain, this moment of pain and suffering? We have the Two of Wands, and and again, this is a tarot deck also, but it's it's a dark tarot deck, one that I use for um, seeing a darker side of situations. So here we see. You know, two sticks are in the water. It looks like stilts that she's on. I think it's a feminine figure, um, but it's in the mud. So, you know, it looks like it's in a difficult situation. You know, what are you going to do if you're stuck in a, a hole basically filled up with muck? And how are you going to get out? How are What are you going to do? What decision are you going to make that gets you out of this state? What other messages do you have for the Pisces Collective for their pain and suffering? Please provide their guidance and direction for them. Please provide guidance and direction for the Pisces Collective. Okay, and then we get Knight of Cups. So there's going to be a change, an emotional change that's coming. And then we get the Wheel of Fortune, which even further reinforces that the change is coming you know you have this choice to get unstuck you have this choice to go forward it is it, clearly we can tell by this image it's not going to be easy 
you know, perhaps a situation you're you're in the storm, you you're facing situations of deceit de or you know, facing decisions that you made that may not have been in your highest good, but the fact of the matter is whatever has caused your suffering and pain is now behind you. The only way the past can come into the future is if you allow it to occupy your present. So here, again, we have the choice. We have the choice to get out. It's, again, not easy, but the, the change is here to make the emotional change. So this is telling me it's it's something we're embodying, it's something in the heart space or because cups are emotion, so it's going to be an emotional change. So perhaps it's a battle with depression or other um, difficulties that are like that. And, and then again, we have the Wheel of Fortune and on this we have the gears. And so perhaps, perhaps Pisces right now, you're feeling like life is just a grind. What you're doing isn't producing results. What you're doing is bringing you down and down and, and Maybe you feel like you're just getting freaking crushed up in this wheel. You know, the, the teeth of the wheel are just coming and crushing you. And it's like taking your soul and, and just depleting you and, and making you feel just like a lack of energy. But, but Spirit's saying, you know, the change is here. It's time for the change. And, you know, what, what the change will bring is renewed emotions, renewed sense of growth and refreshing for your soul and refreshing for your spirit but you know the key here is to understand that you are in the storm but you are not the storm you are in the storm to grow from the storm not to be caught in the storm the storm's not here to take you out sweetheart the storm is here to make you stronger and to make you grow into who who and who you are and everything you are meant to be spirit please provide some angel cards for pisces that will help them with guidance, please provide some angel cards. See, with these cards, we bring the light to the darkness. We, we try to balance out the duality. Please provide guidance. Ooh, that's nice for Pisces. Okay. And we get five of cups. And so again, these are matched to regular tarot where five of cups would be sense of loss, depression, Focusing on disillusionment, disappointment, what isn't working instead of focusing on the positive. So emotionally and mentally, it, it could serve you well to focus on what you do have in your life that is going good and what to be grateful for. But here we see prosperity and destruction of the enemy and deliverance from bondage. So just as we saw here, you're in the storm, you know, and, and you're stuck and and this Valalaya, um, I'm probably not saying that properly, but this is an angel that helps with destruction of the enemy. Let's see. And then we have the five of swords. Again, we have a five and a five. I was going to say, holy cow, what's the next card? Don't let it be a five. But it's because so five are is an unstable energy. And what we have here is we see a very unstable situation. The emotions are unstable. The situations are unstable. We have a storm. You know, we're in a place of being stuck emotionally. We feel like we're just getting ground up and in more pain and more pain, no matter what we do. And Spirit's saying, it's time for that emotional change. It's time to come out. You know, it's the choice is up to you, but this change, if you choose to do it, will bring you emotional renewal and new growth and bring you to a, a place of refreshed emotional space. And, you know, spirit is working on the destruction of the enemy and deliverance from bondage. Then we get the five of swords, which is um, which is a, also a deceitful energy, unstable energy. It's, it's winning the battle, but not the war. It's one of just, it, it's just a, a energy of not feeling great, right? Um, but on this card is the desire to know the acquisition of wisdom. So this is telling me, because swords are mental energy, is, you know, go within to be honest with yourself, to identify um, maybe what role you're playing in being stuck or how you can move forward. And then finally, we get the Nine of Cups. Hebahaya, I need to learn these angels' names. 
um, God the kindest giver. So healing and um, preservation of health and cures diseases. So um, as I said in the beginning of this message, I'm not here to provide medical advice or, you know, I'm not qualified for anything like that, but, but clearly perhaps this situation you're facing Pisces and maybe this is just for some of you is a health matter and, and maybe you're, you're faced with some type of unfortunate ailment or disease, or maybe, you know, you're in the Pisces collective part. That's it. Oh, that was a big thunder out there. Um, is it's more emotional rather than a physical element, but here spirit says nine of cups, you know, this is abundance and satisfaction. This is bringing joy and, and, happiness into your life so what if you make that decision to come out of the space and again you know if if it is a medical situation or a health situation maybe it's a choice to do the things that are that serve your highest good and your better health you know if, if you need to get the treatment you need or or eat the proper foods or do the exercise or you know, even, you know, maybe if you need to go to counseling, I, I don't know your situation, so I, I can't pretend to. Guide, guardians, angels, ancestors, one card for help and healing for the Pisces Collective who might be in this situation. God bless them if they are. Please help them and send them loving healing energy. One card of help and healing for this, these, the Pisces Collective going through struggle now, please, Lord. One card of help and healing for those in struggle right now, please, Spirit. That's several. I'm gonna go real quick. Okay, introspection. So you know, take some time to understand what's going on with you. Have faith by all means. You know, just you're. This is going to require fully leaning into spirit and you know surrendering and knowing that that divine universe has your back. And that's that's crazy, right? With the thunder. Anyway, um, but yeah, fully relying on spirit self mastery so you know getting in control of your emotions and and not letting your emotions rule you no matter what if it is a medical situation or physical ailment you know that can really play on your emotions so you know get your emotions in check master yourself so you can take care of what you had to take care of you know if, if you're if you're an emotional wreck you can't even take care of yourself and then conservation. So this tells me conservation of energy. Um, be careful where you're placing your energy. Don't, if you're in a time that demands strength from you and you're giving your energy away in places that aren't working to heal you or help you, you know, to really reinvest that and, and make wise investments of your energy and your time and, and focus that energy on healing you and getting out of, um, whatever the storm might be. So that's what I have for you. I hope it helped. Please like, share, subscribe. If it did, drop me a comment in the notes. God bless and, and I hope everything gets better for you, Pisces.